Zimbabwe is a landlocked country in southern Africa, between the Zambezi and Limpopo rivers. Surrounded by South Africa to the south, Botswana to the southwest, Zambia to the north, and Mozambique to the east. This country is blessed with amazing fauna and flora, minerals and many other natural resources. It is one of the world's biggest producer of gold, and the third biggest producers of platinum after Russia and South Africa. Zimbabwe is a low-middle-income economy country, in the same group with the likes of Tanzania, Kenya and Nigeria. The country managed to make a comeback after being downgraded to low-income country by the World Bank, in 2019. Natural disaster, land reform and a decrease in production, have plagued Zimbabwe economy since year 2000. However, Zimbabwe showed a steady growth recently, expecting growth rate of 3.9% in 2021, according to the World Bank reviews. A significant improvement after a two-year recession, due to COVID-19 among other reasons. Hello and welcome, if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe, and join us as we tell the untold story of Africa. The Economy of Zimbabwe Zimbabwe's economy is now the fastest growing economy in Sub-Sahara Africa according to the World Bank. The economy of Zimbabwe is expected to grow faster than its neighbors, rising from 3.9% in 2021 to 5.1% by 2022, compared to average growth rate for Sub-Saharan Africa which is 2.8% in 2021. Gross domestic product is estimated to be 21 billion, in 2020, slightly less than Zambia and more than of Botswana. The GDP per capita is currently standing at 1,128 US dollars, after two consecutive years of economy contraction. World Bank analysts estimate Zimbabwe unemployment rate to be about 5%, not 95% of popular belief. Ongoing major projects to resolve power issues. The total power station infrastructure installed across Zimbabwe has a total output capacity of approximately 1,940 megawatts, just a small difference to 2,200 megawatts of country demand. However, due to decommissioning and lack of maintenance, the country is currently producing 845 megawatts only, of its own electricity, then source the balance from neighboring countries. In the past three years, Zimbabwe has experienced worst power cuts. In order to address this issue, the government has been working around the clock, since 2018, to rehabilitate, upgrade and recommission these power stations, across the country. Upon completion of the these following ongoing projects, Zimbabwe will have sufficient electricity for both national consumption and exporting to other countries. Number 1. Expansion of Wanj Thermal Power Station. Wanj Power Station has been operational since 1983. In 1987, the plant was upgraded to 920 megawatts, being the biggest power station in Zimbabwe. The expansion and rehabilitation of Wunsch Thermal Power Station began in March 2019, and it is scheduled for completion in 2022. Upon completion, this $1.5 billion project is expected to supply additional 600 megawatts, increasing the plant's capacity to 1,520 megawatts, supplying Zimbabwe with 60% of its national demand. Number 2. Batoka Gorge Hydro Power Plant. Batoka Gorge Hydroelectric Project, it is planned to be developed on the Zambezi River by both governments of Zimbabwe and Zambia, along the border of both countries. This power plant will supply a total of 2,500 megawatts of electric power. Its estimated cost is 4 billion US dollars. Number 3. Decker Upgradation Project. It's a spin-off project to upgrade the old Decker water pipelines, in order to supply Wunge power station with supply of water. Valued at 48 million US dollars. Number 4. Bulawayo Repowering Project. Bulawayo Repowering Project it is a upgrading and recommissioning of 90 megawatts chain grate boilers, of the Bulawayo thermal power station. Valued at 100 million US dollars. Number 5. Muyati Repowering Project Construction of the Muyati Repowering Project, expected to contribute 70 megawatts of power to Zimbabwe. Valued at 113 million US dollars. Other ongoing projects. New Parliament Building 
a monumental six-story new parliament, it is a state-of-art building, in Mount Hamden, the new capital city, 25 kilometers west in the outskirt of the capital Harare. The construction began in November 2018, and it is now nearing completion. This new parliament will replace the current 100-seat parliament building, in downtown Harare, which the government considers too small for Zimbabwe's 350 parliamentarians. Value $140 million. Expansion of Robert Gabriel Mugabe International Airport. The 153 million US dollar project will add a new international terminal building and aprons, four new bridges, a secondary radar system, a VVIP pavilion, and an airfield ground lighting and communication system among other things. Upon completion, this airport will become a regional aviation hub, handling about 6 million passengers annually, from the 2.5 million of current capacity. This project is expected to be completed by 2022. Zimbabwe has also initiated multi-billion dollars projects including housing projects, roads, water and sanitation projects across the country to improve the state of life of people of Zimbabwe. Most of these projects are expected to be finished by year 2022. Thank you for watching, tell us, what surprised you most about these facts? Or what would have liked making this list or which country do you want us to feature in our next episode, tell us in comment section below. Please consider to like, or comment and subscribe to our channel, and ring the notification bell, so that you don't miss any of our next videos.